them. And when I saw this particular thing, I thought, wow, you need to know about this if you haven't seen it before. And the thing that I really like about it is that it's just so elegant. Hey everybody, Jamie here coming to you with another video to help you out on the road if you're living in a van. This particular video applies to just about any vehicle. Uh, recently I did a video on the four things that every pro master needs to live the van life and live the nomadic lifestyle. Well, this would be uh, an, a revised or an add-on to that as more things come available. Uh, I'm going to make more videos about them because I want you to know them. And when I saw this particular thing, I thought, wow, you need to know about this if you haven't seen it before. One of the things about Pro Masters is they come with a, a backup camera. So when you put the vehicle in reverse, the little display where the stereo is gives you a rear view of what's going on. But what Ron has done is he has converted his rear view mirror into both, it's still a mirror and it's a backup camera. And the thing that I really like about it is that it's just so elegant. You don't have to attach anything to your dashboard. You don't have to attach another monitor and uh, clutter up your instrument panel with just another clunky device. Like if you saw the dashboard on my bus, it's clean and has a really good view. It's kind of cool. It's almost cinematic because it's wide. Enough of me talking about it. Let's visit with Ron and get a demonstration. This is what the back of Ron's van looks like. I recently did a van tour with Ron and this is an amazing rig, but the point is that out here, you got nothing. You got no windows, maybe your bed's back there, whatever the case is, the rear view mirror is useless until you add this to it. Well, dash cams these days are pretty ubiquitous in, in a lot of vehicles. Um, and they've been around for a number of years, and they've gotten a lot more sophisticated in the last probably two or three years with um, better technology and a lot more people adopting them. And they're great for van life. I've been through about five dash cams over the last, you know, five or six years um, or longer. And this is the latest one I've come up with. It's the, probably the best one I've ever had. And um, the unique thing about this one is is it mounts over the existing mirror. Okay, so we've got a, um, basically it's a 12 inch monitor. Um, that's the width. But the thing about it is, is the video is capturing is much bigger. So I can take uh, the video on the front is uh, 2.7K um, width. Um, and so you can, you can see what's recording is this whole area. And so you can adjust it up and down to get the, the video you, you want feeding. And then to change from front to back, you just switch it like that. And you can move again, move that up and down to see what you need to do, whether you're backing up or you just want to track the traffic behind you. Or if you really want, you can do a split screen where you have, you know, the front on one side and the back on the other side. You know, I said it. Yeah. So you can also turn it so you can look at uh, previous videos, you know. So uh, this is my video library is recorded to the uh, DVD or to the uh, SD card. Um, I have a 256 gigabyte SD card in here right now. So you can record a lot of videos. Um, and you can just go down there, say this is the video I want to take a look at. You click on that and it'll start playing back that video. You can look at, this is the front, you can look at the rear videos, record, uh, play those back, do all kinds of stuff. Um, generally what I do is I just take the SD card, which is right up here, take it out, stick it to my computer, and then download the videos. So that works better. Time, the day of the week, and then the month, uh, day of the month, a uh, year. Uh, so this is... Uh, February 3rd and you can change these 24 hour time and all kinds of, you can change the speed to kilometers and all you know the normal formatting capability you have on any type of a, of a digital recorder these days and this information is also embedded in the video both forward and backwards so it's a forward and a backwards camera you got to run a hard wire to the back camera but the front camera is just on the unit itself. There's nothing to mount outside or anything on the front camera. Is that correct? That's correct. And also, as we're talking right now, the audio of our of our conversation is being recorded onto the um, image too. 
and not only does it record on the image, it records on both um, front and rear. So if you do a playback, you know, of the rear camera, you can still hear the audio of anybody in the front making a conversation. Okay. So the audio, the, our conversation right now is being recorded both on the on the on the back camera video and on the front camera video. So if you need to basically create something that you're going to go, if you're going to take this video, put it into a um, like a regular video you're going to produce, um, then it's easier to sync up the video because you've got the voice overlay, which you know you can say sync this and then when you play it back you can have both rear and and front and you know that they're going to be right in perfect sync okay hang on and if you turn it off it reverts actually back to a mirror yes. where it's reflective yes let's see if we can get it guys i don't know if any of this is showing up because it looks like in my back uh, display it's not but it's amazing what this thing can do what um and now we're back to mirror. You're back to mirror mode. The other thing on this one does is it has real-time GPS system in here. So as you're driving, it will tell you what your speed is on the mirror and records your GPS location at all times. And so you can, you know, it's got some software you can go in there. It'll, it'll show you your track of where you've been on your GPS. So, and so the, it's not a map though, right? No, it's, it will, it'll, it'll, it'll Relate to a map that you, on your computer, you could download an app and they'll bring it up a map. It'll show your route on the map that you've driven. Show how on the on the computer later? Yeah. Okay, so it tracks where you've like been. Like on a, on a tablet or on a phone or things like that. So you can do that. So the inputs on the top, one is the camera in the back, a power, and then the, um, the other one is the GPS, which is mounted over there um, on the window. How complicated was this to install? The hardest part of installation is just basically it's got a hard wire that runs to, from the camera in the back and a wrap through here and then around into here. That's probably the hardest thing. But any kind of a backup camera you have that you install has the same issues. Okay. Know? What are we looking at price-wise uh, for something like this? Well, I bought it two years ago, so it's, you know, kind of old man foggy memory <laughs> <laughs> we can look it up on it's on amazon a couple hundred bucks yeah or... it's about 200 i think so all right guys whatever the case is I'll, I'll post it on the screen and we'll see but when i saw this i know that uh becca has an issue with seeing behind her and this would not only solve it but it would keep things off the dashboard because we were going to mount a monitor up here in another camera system and i wasn't sure i don't want to be invasive on the dashboard it's a new right. vehicle what i like about the the speedometer i just want to highlight on if you've got an old vehicle sometimes they don't have accurate speedometers or if you put bigger tires on right. they're not accurate so this you you get your speedometer back which is pretty cool yeah it's very accurate um because i track this one with my regular gps you know the system and they all match up pretty well so it's just really nice i like to be able to record both directions yeah you know that's cool and, and it has the automatic things if you know if something shakes the van really hard it automatically save that a track to a separate emergency thing so oh. that, so that if you if you were into if you just left it on I, this one is plugged into my house battery so it's not draining my car battery yeah because I have a bigger house battery, obviously. Yeah. And so I could leave it on 24-7 if I wanted to. And then it would record anybody walking up, doing all kinds of stuff, um, just like a regular surveillance system. And then if somebody sh jiggled the van, it would automatically record that over to a separate um, storage place. And I'd go back later and look at it and review okay. the video from both front and rear. So Outstanding. Thanks, uh, Ron, and I wanted you guys to see this because I think it's a great addition. And in this case, it isn't a ProMaster, but it'll go on any vehicle. And here you go. Thanks for watching, guys, but we're not stopping here. In this next video right here are four things that every ProMaster living the van life should not be without. Check it out.